watching the game tonight? Which one do you go to? Or have you gone? Pretty good. No. no. What did they do? Win or lose? <laughs> did you go the same time Mike did? extension and grant the chair authorization to sign this week. Have folks had a chance to take a look at it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Were there any questions, objections, comments? Yep. Okay. So I'll need a, a motion to uh, grant the chair authorization to sign it this week when it's ready. The well, signature page that is. I'll move that we authorize the chair to sign the lease agreement um, this week. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 aye opposed? Okay, other business. We have, do um, you want to talk about a non public or? Uh, what are you talking about? Public? Okay, sure. Yeah. Do you want? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> come on up, come, come sit right up. <laughs> sit in the night there. Yeah. Um, I had, uh, Sergeant Stevens informed me uh, last week that uh, he's accepted a condition off employment with the Southbrook Police Department. Uh, they also came by last week uh, to look at his personnel file. So I anticipate uh, if everything is successful, probably in November, maybe beginning of December at the latest, he'll be heading over to the PD. Um, having said that, uh, I would like to start beginning to advertise for the position and, and start a list um, as soon as possible. Uh, because if we miss the deadline for the January Academy, that means we can't get someone until the August Academy which means that that officer will not be fully trained until June of 2020 mm -hmm. by the time they complete the academy and they do the field training. So hopefully the goal is to find someone certified, but you know, we, we know where that's going in the past. Mm -hmm. So I have a purchase order here, number 1470, made out to uh, Foster's Daily Democrat. I think it's actually going to be Seacoast Online. Um, for $270 to advertise for a police full-time police officer. I'll move purchase order 1470 for $270 to advertise for a police officer for Foster's Daily Democrat or Seacoast Online. Second. Media. Is there any discussion? So Sergeant Stevens has been with us for 20 years now, right? Yes. I don't understand it, but that's okay. Well, no, I'm not talking why I'm asking, yeah. so perhaps we'll when the time comes, we'll have them into a meeting so we can just thank him for serving. Okay. That's why I was getting it. No, I'm not I, I, mean, I just don't I mean, understand. Do, what, okay. do as, what he pleases with his career. I just wanted to yeah. say thank you for his service. So, uh, all those in favor, any other comments or questions on first order 1470? Yeah. Oh, seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Oh, all right. That, these were the only two items we had for our agenda. Is there any other business? I can come up under other business before we close the meeting and go into the budget workshop.
like yeah. having a band color. I should have brought my glasses. So um, it, it's up to you whether or not you want to peruse the um, the modified budget. Denise and I worked for many hours on right. Friday finalizing that for you. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at it. You might want to take the week and look at it and talk about it Monday. Yeah, it, it's more of a... Um, uh, of a regular meeting, I, I think, right? Because it's the well, I think what we've done. I think what we've done can impact what you're going to do. Okay. Based well, on which is why you have them both, so right. that you okay. can see where we're spent so, so far, and you can see. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. you want to walk where us through the. the well, I don't think we have to go through it, but if you know, if we, you know, I can keep an eye on to see if it was something that was modified. Okay. And in this one. In the yeah, in the. I got you. Yeah. So. Because I think it can impact sure. what we're going to bring forward for the next year. Okay. So this is the best information we have to do. It's up to the, everything in September, right? Um, and it yeah. will reflect on what you are going to propose for 19. So, well, well still, things can change from sure. October to December. Certainly. But, yeah. but the column of expenditures in both worksheets should be the same. The expenses mm -hmm. should be the same, which is just Q3. Mm -hmm. um, which is... Um, also going to get modified for the budget committee Q3 report. Denise is going to handle that. Mm -hmm. um, but for sure, we can have more updated financials as we go forward, which could help inform mm -hmm. this process. And also, we can mod modify what we bring forward again with the budget committee if we had to. You know, so if there's opportunity still to change our recommendations. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Right. Okay, so we will keep this to the side if we need it to refer to it. So, we've already gone through um, executive office. Was there, was there anything new that's come up in the past week that uh, you should be aware of? No, I don't think so. Okay. All right, so let's skip over to... Um, well, just so you know, the changes are because of the less election, the less amount of election. Right. So if you right, see right. a negative, it's because right. it's right, not right. anything but yep. difference in elections. Right, right, right. Um, personal administration, we're holding off until we um, hear from all the departments, right? We've said uh, planning and zoning, we've already covered. Government buildings, we've talked about. Um, so, this brings us to the police department. This has, this reflects the, um, the proposed budget that the chief uh, forwarded, right, Carolyn? Um, yes. Okay. It does. Um, you'll see with the full-time salaries, um, the budget line says it's a 2.3% increase for full-time salaries. It's really a 3% increase on the current salaries, but last year he budgeted for a 3% and not everybody got the 3%. Right, right. So that's why it says 2.3. Okay. And then there's overtime. This is for the full-time officers, two-thirds not eligible for a retirement system. Right, so with the overtime and the contract services line, it's important to note that um, it's not very precise to budget for overtime for those for um, retirement on those lines because it depends entirely on who, who works those lines. Right. We only have two officers who would be eligible to receive retirement benefits on their hours worked in overtime, um, whether it be for detail or just straight overtime. Okay. Two officers because they're full time. No, two officers because yes, they're full time, but they were vested prior to 2012, and our newer officers lost that benefit through legislative action. So um, they get checks that are Social Security contributing for overtime. They have to get separate checks for all their overtime. Okay. Does that include officers, too? No, he's vested. He thinks he's been here for a long time, so okay. he would get retirement. So now we. When he leaves, we'll only have next year one, who is not one who typically works um, a lot of overtime or detail. Can I just ask one question? Um, we haven't really touched base on what the Board of Selectment is recommending for the percentage increase for any employee, only what department heads are submitting. Have, are we going to take a, a stand yep. that we're either going to go with what they're doing, or are we going to yes. say, this is what we're going to do? Yes. We're, we're, you had suggested both of them. Oh, sorry. Questions? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. 
yes, we're we're going to accept what they're what they what they're suggesting right now for the budget, just as a placeholder. And yes, we will weigh in on and, and make the final determination on what we think is the appropriate number for the percentage. Okay. And just because the chief has asked for three percent. Um, well, everyone has. Right. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, I just have his page yeah. open, so it doesn't mean that we're necessarily going to accept that or the. When we get to highway, when um, there's no like a it's quote unquote mountain versus, mm -hmm. um, versus, a percent. versus a percentage, mm -hmm. we don't necessarily have to go along with that either. So I've been hoping to hold off on, on the salaries until we had everyone's budgets in. But um, what, are, what are we missing? We're missing fire still and Fire submitted his via paper, but I right, don't right. have his elect. Um, well, actually, he in. did do his electronically. I have. He's this. coming in on Monday to talk to us about it. Yeah. So I, I really wanted to give all of them an opportunity nope, that's okay. to, I just to, to tell us sure why they they, yeah. they want to do it before we. Yeah, that's fine. We, we dig in. Just to be fair to them. Okay, so please Do we want to go line by line? Um, I I would appreciate it if you um if you have it with you if you would check it against the paper. Sure. Um, no, no, not that. But the paper, the submitted by the department had submitted budget. Just sure. right on top. I just want to make sure we're. Yes, I'll do that. Yeah. Um, and you might also, while we're reviewing these lines, consider default budget mm -hmm. at the same time. Not that we're going to create that sheet at the same time, right. but considering the sorts of things that. Um, qualify or don't qualify would be removed or not removed um, mm -hmm. for default budget. Right. All right. So uh, Chief's uh, line is uh, does match, and that's um, getting the three percent. So as I said, let's hold off on salaries just for now. Uh, full time salaries does that match? I think he did it over the, he might have done it from the budget line before rather than from yeah. the no, actual no, no, salary. Just round it up to, it says 0.6, it's just okay. Now, potentially, program. due to what we just found out tonight, that could change because what you're going to hire isn't necessarily what's leaving. Mm -hmm. So, we might want to think about that as well mm -hmm. once we know more. Most definitely. Um, and in the same sense, part time salaries and overtime. May have to change as well. So I don't think the new ones. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. They haven't had um, the, the, the best of luck at times um, mm -hmm. um, with all the hires. So mm -hmm. They don't all stay, so or make it the process. So. Okay, so holding holding salaries. Side. Let's go to court witness fees. Is there any objection to, to Bob's um, uh, recommended appropriation of 500 mm -hmm. miles? Nope. All right. Contract of services. So this is <laughs> this is part of the reason why we are going to have difficulty with this year's budget. Um, we overestimated last year. That's what will be brought in. Uh, Bob is recommending 40,000. It looks like so far this year. About thirty-eight four, so I would say that's probably closer to uh, what her number is. So, in, in, we had a conversation about that. He and I did about that line. He, yeah. um, I think he's reluctant to bring it down. He just wants to not repeat this year's I agree. problem. Yeah. So um, you might talk to him about that. It, there's. Um, we need to consider how to budget for revenue, which is to say, very understated, and if you make out, you make out, but what is that number, or what is that percentage um, right. of this right. line? But it, This um, is reimbursed. It is reimbursed, but it's reimbursed better than the expense, so oh, okay. it's, a, it's an income generator. So, procedural-wise, mm -hmm. even though we show it as a budget line in our budget, if it's ten thousand and we had twenty thousand, is that is that something that can't happen? I mean, if you, it's better to go under than it is to go over. Are you talking about expenses or? Well, your revenue will be offset as well, right? I mean, 
Okay, let me see if I can say that right. So this is reimbursable mm -hmm. more than our expense. Yes. So, but we we budgeted too much last year. So our uh, revenue is too low it's because of it. Right. So if we go on the lower side and we get more activity, that's not a bad thing, right? It's better to go lower than it is to go higher. As yes. far as revenue is concerned, yes. Well, why not expense? Well, the only thing about expense is that if you don't budget to spend it, you can't spend it without taking it from another line. Say that one more time. If you budget for 40 and yeah. you have opportunities to do more yeah. than that, you can't do more than that without pulling it from other lines. Okay. Even though it's you can't. Even though yeah. the Even revenue is going to come. Yeah, the, it, or revenue or is irrelevant as far as the expense goes. But it helps us on the, on the other end when we're, when we're uh, saying the tax rate at the end of the year. I know. So it's not a bad thing, but it's, you can't spend it. But you can't spend right. it, so... That's not a really good thing with the police either. He, I mean, so can you? Okay, all right. So can you put an expense there that um, is less than your um, revenue that you're going to put on there? So I mean, it's higher than the revenue that you're going to claim. Yes. You know. So if he if say we put fifty, but we bring in sixty, uh, or we put sixty in revenue, that's okay. You can do whatever you want and whatever you think is reasonable. And budgeting is 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 one thing, and and only what actually transpires is what will ultimately, over the few years term, affect the tax rate. Mm -hmm. So that is the safer thing to do. Where you get maybe twenty or thirty percent more in revenue than from from the dollar of expense. Um, that's where we ran into a problem this year, is that we actually budgeted the revenue calculated in that way as though we were going to fully expend the line. Mm -hmm. So that's the lesson we need, to, that's exactly what we need to not do next mm -hmm. year, is to understate the, the revenue so that we don't get in the same problem. And then if we bring in more, we bring in more, and that's a benefit to the tax rate. Right, so uh, the tax rate is calculated in, in um, the beginning of the year, Based on the amount of revenue we're projecting to receive. No. It's which is a better thing. What? We're, we're just about to. No. To when someone says to you in town meeting, "What is the estimated tax rate?" It's based on what the revenue line is today. What we're putting in there. It's it's based on a whole bunch of factors. Right. Right. But it, that, that number is included in there to give an estimate of what the tax rate would there be. There is a way to calculate that, and we will try to do that. Okay. Yes. Okay. But this is, we're just now, any you know, within the next few weeks, going to set the tax rate. Right. And that will hold true for a whole other year. And it's based on what passed at town meeting, plus the reports that we just filed with revised revenues. Yeah. So this is what we thought we were going to bring in for right. revenue. And what we said, you know, what the voters approved to expend, and then here we are later in the year, this is where we are with actual figures and what we, knowing more now because it's later in the year, what, it, what we have for revenue. Okay. okay, so when, okay, so doing the revised revenue part of it, so if we had them equal and we got more revenue, then we would do it on the revised revenue. The revised revenue report will show better information, which is what the tax rate is set from, is the better information, mm -hmm. yes. But even, even if you budget the same dollar amount, mm -hmm. um, you, you, you might end up, it, depending on what you send, set that expenditure line at, mm -hmm. you might still end up cutting off your toes. Yeah, no, I, yeah I'm saying we might not go as low on the revenue, knowing that we would do an estimated revenue, I mean, a, a revised revenue so in October. The only caution about September. that is that you are, you are um, estimating a tax rate to the public based on these revenues, yep. you know, the revenue budget that they'll see and vote on in March. Mm -hmm. So if that ends up being understated, you've allowed yourself to spend in other lines because you're bringing in that revenue. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to not actually bring in that revenue, come to find out next year, then the tax rate, the tax implications are going to be higher than what you thought in March. That's the revenue that isn't part of the police department necessarily. 
that we're we're going to not get. I understand what you're saying now. Because there's a percentage of that that goes to offset other things other than police. It does. It all yeah. goes into the general Yeah, time. so those yes. would be under or overestimated if, if you don't careful. You, you may yeah. be making other expenditure decisions yeah. based on what you think that revenue it can afford. Right. So, so you, you know, it's, it's the big picture. It's the big picture. Okay. Thank you. And then. Okay. So, <laughs> back to, you know, we're still on rather contracted services. So. I think that the, 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 the proposed appropriation is, is, is more realistic than what we proposed last year, um, which was 50 and uh, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, I think we should go back to 40 and um, say that we've only, we only have 38 for as of September, right, or October 1? Um, end of September, 30th, yes. Okay. So well, the white line directly, that's, the, so 11 is what we brought in mm -hmm. this year to date. And that, that's, that's, oh, okay. yeah. so, yeah, so this is the 18 budget, and that's 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, I just so don't know what's, what projected projects are happening before you have to start budgeting for it. That's right. the problem. So 60 was in anticipation of doing some details in another town that didn't come to fruition. That's correct. Is 40 based on the same thing? Okay. So, I mean, I think if, if he's saying 40, it's got some insight into what's coming. If that's still no, 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 yeah. no. It could also just be a note of something to talk to him about yeah. when he comes in on mm -hmm. Monday. So, let's do that then. Skip over that one. Uh, payroll taxes will be what it is based on the salary. So. Is contracted services not part of the payroll taxes? It is. It is. Um, so contracted services. So some of contracted services. You're right. So it went up three um, percent. I'll check her formula about that. I. Um, so again, it's it's not a direct correlation because some people get retirement and some people get yeah. traditional payroll taxes, though everybody contributes to Medicare off that line. Um, but it is interesting that it's a full 3%, and mm -hmm. if you're decreasing it that much, it should be a lot less. Right. Okay. Okay. Retirement will also be contingent upon the and salaries. Um, although I imagine it's going to be going down, saying that... Um, Whoever's replacing Sergeant Stevens more than likely will not be. We won't be re replacing a sergeant for a sergeant at the same rate, so I'm just going to kind of be going down a little bit, but not a significant amount. But, but caution that he might be running within to another sergeant. That's true. another right. line, so yeah, absolutely right. it's more the, the salary versus, you know, mm -hmm. the, but that, you but know. We won't know it's when it's <laughs> Preventative health. We're okay with going with his recommendation of the thousand. No change there. Uniform cleanings. This is a oh, uniforms and uniforms. Uniform slash cleaning. Um, for cleaning off hazardous materials. Um, there was some discussion last or the year before last. Um, some departments pay for um, their officers' uniforms to be longer. On a regular basis, but uh, we do not provide that service. So. I don't want to make sure no one's confused that this isn't for you know weekly laundry service. This is only as needed. So. This is this is to purchase uniforms. The one above it is. The one above it. Yep. Forty-seven so, five. So can we go back to that line? So mm -hmm. we've we've spent sixteen ten this year. Is there expected to be a big purchase? 
the third quarter, fourth quarter rather? You might ask him, I don't know. I'm trying to remember from previous years, I think he does wait. Okay, but it does. also depends on um, on the needs of the officers sure. too, but I think he, he tries to wait to the end of the year because it's one of those lines that um, um, if he needs to use it somewhere else, he can. But we should certainly make a note of it and ask him. I'm sorry, I skipped over that. Okay. Um, anyway, now I'll get back to my soapbox. So the uh, 500 is only as new uh, as of last uh, this year. It's to uh, only clean uh, this year rather um, for hazardous materials. And so far, we spent $11 over that line. Any objection to continuing it at five? Okay. Professional development. Um, there's another line where. Four thousand was appropriated. They've only spent a thousand so far. So we might ask him. Uh, in the year before that, they only spent twenty-two. So do we need to appropriate four before the high end is two that we've been spending? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know that. Is professional development college courses, or is it um, fire training? I mean, uh, police training courses at Concord. Do you know what? To what it is? It's a variety of training, but they are allowed to use it for college, college classes. To get the degree in criminal justice or whatever. Okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't I'll leave it the same. Then. I'll leave it the same. Well, you got someone new who might not it's have true. that, you yeah. know? True. The uncertainty of <coughs> them. Okay. That's fair. All right. Conference dues associations is recommending keeping the appropriation. Why was it? Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, how about that? <laughs> so he he's asking for thirteen fifty, but this year he spent thirty one. So do we take? Uh, I'll have to ask him about that. All right, where are we going? Officers' expenses for repairs. Asking for eighteen hundred, it's about seventeen hundred. Any objection to keeping it at eighteen? No. You might look at the previous year, though, because this is only quarter three. So he's going to go past the eighteen hundred. Okay. So then why are we only appropriating eighteen? We're spending thirty-one. Does that match what he's proposed in his paper? Yeah. Skip the line. Uh, telephone and cellular. He's recommending 37. Any objection to keeping it there? Looks like in 2017 spent 34. So, bills gone up slightly. So, postage. Uh, 500. Any objection to keeping it at that? Mm -hmm. Any so? Okay. Manuals and publication. Let's see. Does this match up? Four hundred. Any objection to keeping it at four? Because yeah. it typically has to, have to buy the new um, uh, state issue ID and books and things like that. Right. They keep them. They keep one in each cruiser and they can check against out of state IDs and that sort of thing. So. Okay. Any other kind of public agency you may need, I guess. Uh, advertising. <laughs> He's, well, propo just went over he's, he's, he's proposing $150. Sure. I'm going to suggest that we change that line to. Definitely. I was going to say out of three or five, to be honest with you. Let's say three. Yeah. He just spent 270 tonight, mm -hmm. so. All right. Equipment. So far this year, he's only spent 1900 Yeah. Well, I spent twenty one eight. Okay. What sorts of things are included in the equipment? You know? Um, things he buys for cruisers, laptops, tablets, radios. Um, actually, he has 
He's got a few POs out, right, about tablets. I mean, um, laptops on the cruiser recently. And cameras, right? Cameras, yeah. Yeah, but wasn't that part of the, the um, purchase of the new cruiser? That should have been under the capital. When, when he when he buys it for a cruiser, typically it will fall under the warrant article. But right. it, but at some point he'll update an item across the board like tablets. Right, but I think the ones that we signed for was for the new cruiser. The the, the ones that he okay. just ordered. It, it may be. Sure. I haven't yeah. checked new purchase yeah. orders, but also like tasers and um, yep. firearms. Yeah. So I'll keep it ten for now. Then. Mm -hmm. um, Radio repair. I would have changed it. And we're lucky so far, we haven't spent a lot, but the year before last, we went over, so. Uh, mileage? Mileage. Does that match his request? I'm looking. Yep. Okay. So he's asking for $150. So far this year, he spent $358. And the year before last, it's been 1100 so... Well, we might want to just remember that he had a couple of cruises down throughout the year, yeah. and so then they may have to use their own private vehicle to go to court or to Concord or something of that sort, yeah. versus using a spare cruiser. Yes, though I think they typically take their own vehicles to court anyway. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. If they don't because they're often coming from home and they're not necessarily yeah. otherwise working. Yeah, but it might have been a little yeah. of that yes, because they had several of them down at one time. Is that 150 then? Sure. Uh, supplies is asking for 2150. Any objection to keeping their 2150? Mm -hmm. He spent this year, he's already spent 2400. Mm -hmm. A year before last, he spent 20, almost 24 hours. He's got enough offset up here, so. Any objection to keeping it at 2150? No. Mm -hmm. Forms. Um, he wants 560. Any objection to keeping it at 560? Nope. No. Vehicle repair and maintenance. So that's about 5400. He's not over yet, he's already spent 51, so I don't think we want to change that to be honest with him. Okay, an older fleet, so uh, we'd be very hesitant to reduce it personally, but what do you think of me? No, I think it's fine. Okay, okay. This one's pretty easy, except for the outstanding questions we have. Huh? So, vehicle fuel we want an increase up to 13,000. I thought it was interesting case that matches. This is a thousand dollar increase. I thought it was interesting that when we get down to the highway, they didn't even ask for one. But um, any objection to going to uh, 13 mm -hmm. miles? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Ammo increase of five hundred dollars and it goes up every year. So uh, not because of him, but the, the cost goes up. Uh, any objection to going to 3200? No. Good miles. Okay. First A is asking for two fifty to match it matches. Any objections? Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, and dispatch. <laughs> so it's gonna go up to ten thousand. Um, and he explained that um, uh, for years uh, the county they would get a reduction mm -hmm. of what was it, he said two percent or something? And and so, and, but, and then there would be increased on other sides, and mm -hmm. so instead of just giving us a discount, we'll charge it, whatever it costs. Mm -hmm. So, any objection to going for the 10 that he's asking for, for dispatch? Yeah. 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 Dare is a thousand, any objection? There's no change there. Mm -hmm. All right, so the bottom line of what he's asking for, the truck matches, is 556,850, it matches. And now it's 557 even with the increase in um, Tango. up to 300. 557 even. All right, thank you. All right. Anything else to discuss with the police department? So we do need to figure out, though, um, I'll ask them to come in and talk to us on Monday. Um, we need to go over contractor services. Uniforms, 
conference or dues. I mean, you also, you bring on a new officer, remember. You know, maybe we just scratch the, the question about uniform. If you bring on a new officer, the new officer requires a whole kit, so I think that. So he did this way before he knew that, so right. it's kind of. So, yeah, he might have some suggestions as well. Right, so I think maybe actually need to go up. I don't know. Well, I, we'll leave it on the ask questions just mm -hmm. in case. Uh, conference and dues line is it enough? An office expense is it enough to cover? Mm -hmm. If you feel like he's got enough wiggle room other places, so. We'll ask him to come in on Monday. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Highway Department. Let's see. There's George's. I'm going to do Highway and Transfer. Let's start with Highway Department. Um, so, we're going to talk about salaries as, as a separate issue. Um, this is one of the cases where he's not asking for a percentage increase, he's asking for a dollar amount increase. So just so, if I may interject, the yeah. white line, so you know what you're looking at, when, when the budget column is yeah. clear, that's because, it, rather than the salmon color, yeah. um, I overrode whatever calculators were there, okay. because the yellow ones are calculators. Gotcha. So salary lines were all calculators, mm -hmm. so I, um, I left that, that color just to show that it's not calculating. Those were manual overrides. Okay. Can I make a point too? Didn't he say that the three thousand is really only a two thousand increase because he got a thousand dollar increase this year? Yes. I mean, we have to put it as because it's three above, but he's requested only for two, right? Isn't that what he said? I can make a note to that effect. Yes, I think that's does. what he said. Yes, he but you have to face it on the Sanchez budget because it, it went up to um, it went up three thousand based on last year. But it, it's really only a two percent. I mean, no, uh, right. three two thousand. And then there's the um, dollar amount also increased for the assistant road agent, right? Right, and that is also uh, well. Um, I don't know if that was also the, the case. Did you say it was? I think that's above what. Because he's got. hourly. It's yeah. a little harder to. Um, he is, yeah. Uh, and then for the part time staff, um, no hourly so increase. So the I that's. My no no hourly increase um, um, and the more summer hours. Right. He um, just to show you how that was calculated, not to right. say you know. It, well, it's just to explain the line that he calculated it. That right. Way. It wasn't necessarily to give each person that he hired more money. It was to hopefully to hire another person. He just wanted to use somebody for more hours. Right. Or by or. If there's a third person you could find for like a day or two. Right, like as he's doing thing. with fire right. people and so right. Yes. right, right, right. So, okay, but um, we'll hold that for our overall picture. So, like I said, once we hear from the fire department and hear their rationale, I want to carve out time at our next workshop, which is this Saturday. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, all right, so we'll back that up because we're not going to hear our workshop after that. If we have time during a meeting, we can also hold them. We can, we'll, we'll carve out time just to talk about salaries. Right. So we'll skip that. Payroll will skip for now. Retirement system will get skipped for now. Let's get down to safety equipment. He's asking for 950. There's no change. Is there any objection to that one? So they've spent zero this year? Right, because it's not. Um, they both came on board late last year and got safety shoes. But they will buy them again if they feel they need them, but okay. they haven't yet. So. Um, they could buy other things like safety glasses out of that, but mostly it's about shoes which they haven't needed. They, they, when they were both hired, they already had, right? We didn't buy them for them, they already had them. Yeah, they already had, but they, so, they just haven't needed any pair yet. And they're replacement pairs. So. I'm sure they probably will, maybe before winter comes. So. The end of the year is not here yet, I guess. All right. Um, preventative health. Um, we have hired set brought on one extra person, right? So, so both of those lines are kind of a function of, um, and this pertains to the transfer station too, staff staying or staff turnover. Because mm -hmm. the more you keep staff, the more you don't spend those lines because right. they keep their equipment and it doesn't wear out. The preventative health is for them to get tested to see if their shot levels are okay or whether they need booster shots for mm -hmm. tetanus and hepatitis. If we feel that 300 is an appropriate amount? Um, it would pay for about um, 
one full set of shots. And t the, the $85 spent so far this year was for testing and no shots. So the $300 will take care of one person for a round of shots and testing. And this this yeah. is just highway. This isn't that yes, that's highway. just highway. I just say that because yep. there are similar lines yep. in the other. Okay. Now, does so. the the people who have insurance can you claim the insurance the shots on on your insurance and not pay it on here? That's a really good question. They should put it on their insurance, right? The ones that we give insurance to. So it would really only be. And that would change the people. number. You know, but it would be part-time people. That it would be your part-time people that would use this because they're not going to get insurance. But I think we should at least have them submit to their insurance, and whatever it doesn't pay, we would pay the difference. Mm -hmm. Or to check with um, outsourced outsourced yeah. if we can, so if we ever are able. I would think Wouldn't so. you be able to? It's part of their health plan. It doesn't right. necessarily mean it's... They can get these shots regardless if they work at the transfer station or not. Right, and they are I mean, probably free and, and you're fully covered with yeah. our insurance. Yeah, because I mean, okay. especially with the... Um, mm -hmm. I don't forget what they have, the tetanus. Yes. You're supposed to get boosters at least so many years, regardless if you're in a... So, and it's worth a try to yes. check them in all right, so we're comfortable keeping it through then? I, I would be, that, definitely if that's the case, they can claim it. Yeah. Okay, telephone and cell. Okay, so um, this is where you see the expense for their internet card. It is for mm -hmm. the hard wire phone line at the highway department, but it also includes their wireless device. Um, I did not modify that line, but um, mm -hmm. that would go down if you approve their other request to um, hardwire internet for Wi-Fi right. at the highway department. And there was a, but there's another line here somewhere. Where is it? It goes up slightly too, right? It's pretty much a wash, isn't it? Um, it will cost approximately twenty dollars per month more to high, to hardwire the place with internet than if you bought them a second wireless device. Right. Um, they like the convenience of not dealing with the devices, but also they think that they will be able to install a booster at the transfer station and extend wireless over there as well if it's hardwired. I don't know if that's too far away or not. They think they can do it. They can barely get the booster downstairs. Well, here you mean? I mean, this is this is a lot of metal and a lot of doors. That's completely open. That's true. It's like what, four feet away? Or more? But I don't know. All right, so twenty dollars a month. It will be twenty dollars more. Well, I mean, you don't have to do anything. You you don't have to do any kind of increase to internet. But their request is either a second card, which will cost forty dollars more per month, or else taking away the wireless, which costs forty dollars a month, and and the hardwiring internet, which is a hundred dollars a month. So if you hardwire it, that is twenty dollars more expensive than if you gave them a second wireless device. I think it's more reliable probably than the card is. That's not I don't know too much about it, but being hardwired. What um mm. so this but I don't know, let's just see here. So the two thousand seventeen expenditure was thirteen eighty five. My budget is thirteen hundred, of course. No, we budgeted sixteen hundred that year. So then we reduce it down to thirteen. He's only requested 13. Right. Well, honestly, I don't think he's... Um, he didn't touch the line, but he put in his request for hardwire internet, which is in executive as part of the calculator for IT services. Ah, okay. So I added it there. Okay. I, I can spot. take it out of there if you're going to put it here. I'm 
I'm sorry, I was just a little confused. So will this go down because of Right, that's what I'm oh, trying okay. to say. You this can should take, go down. It, it should go down. By should, 40 a month? Um, by 40 a month. Okay, so I think we chop it to 800? If that's the... It's so it's gonna go, well, okay, so it's going to go down 40 a month. But if we, if we allow them to get hardwired on the other end, it's going to go up $20 a month. So In the executive. Well, it's actually going up sixty dollars a month, which is right. just twenty dollars more than the second hard, uh, second wireless. Um, that's already in the calculator under executive. Okay, so we can't reduce it here. Then? So I can, yes, you can okay. reduce it here because it's already there, but there, or I can reduce it there, whichever you prefer. I have a problem doing the hot wire. That's what it looks going to make life easier for him down there. But um, I do want it to reflect here, though. So we can reduce it down to. Uniforms is going up a lot because the uniform line for both highway and transfer station employees is only in the transfer station budget. Right. So this is half of the new proposed right. uniform line now in the... So we see a re we'll see a reduction in transfer, right? Or not as much of an increase, yes. Not as much of an increase. And why is it so much more? Well, because uni so uniforms traditionally in the highway department was a small amount that allowed them to buy hats, embroidered hats and sweatshirts, things okay. that they would keep at home, as opposed to the uniform company, which we rent uniforms from and they launder them weekly. Um, the laundering, so purchasing has happened through the highway department. Laundering, that service has been through the transfer station budget, even though it's also for highway employees. So the proposal is to split the uniform line so that it's e pretty equal between the highway and transfer station. And they all have the same uniform. So it's uniform, it's in the appearance of everyone, which I think is a good idea. It still says includes both highway and transfer station. Oh, then I didn't update the... Some of those are Suzanne's old notes. Okay. So, deleting that. Okay. So really, it's only going up $300. Because it was three, three yes. thousand at one time. And then, uh, okay. So all the employees now at the transfer station are going to be wearing We'll be wearing them, yes. was um, born out of a bed bug issue yeah. a few years ago. Okay. Yes. Our um, liability insurance company said it might be a good idea that not having your employees wearing street clothes but having uniforms. It's also helpful for people who bring things that need to pay fees to easily be able to locate right. the people to yep. get them with that stuff. Okay, so are there objections to that line being 1650? Yep. I want to talk about that. So. Denise, you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Supplies, uh, $7,500. Um, the increase was for. So, they spend a lot in supplies. A lot of the supplies are things that help them build things. Right. Um, they're not all supplies in a traditional sense. Right. Um, it's more than nuts and bolts. Suzanne, when she was here and managed the budget, really wanted vehicle maintenance to be only what makes the engine and the body operate. And anything relating to plow parts or washer fluid and wipers or any kind of accessories went in supplies. Um, but that's vehicle maintenance. So there's a line in the sand somewhere uh, which is going to shift with the wind according to who's sitting in your seat. All right. Um, <laughs> But that's, that's part of why that line grew so much, was because of her change in okay. philosophy and So the money went out of vehicle repair and maintenance at one point, so, and then went to supplies. Right. So a lot of that could, depending on your definition, go in the vehicle repairs and maintenance. But also yeah. a lot of it is, um, you know, supplies for building things, sheet metal, 
right. you know, welding supplies. Right. Where did he put his printer that they're going to buy? I'm not aware that they were buying a printer. I thought that was one of the yeah, things that they like were doing. Like a $50, $100 printer. Yeah, so that see, I thought that was under, like, supplies. Yeah. It could, but we yeah. also have the executive IT line, which has, which is calculated on $50 for um, hardware gadget stuff. So, um, so it could come out of that. Okay. Either way. So it's, it's still a 50% increase. Mm -hmm. um, what are we spending on the back of the So, so far this year we spent 5700 yeah, So if that stays on track. So building supplies too? Well, like for example, he moved the salt shed, he built a roof for the residents' right. salt shed, you know, right. he's making improvements. That's all under supplies. That's yeah. under yeah. supplies. Yeah. That's why I'm a little higher this year. Yeah. yeah. He, he lined the inside of the salt shed. Yep. Right. That stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. But he won't be putting a new roof on every year. That right. sort of thing. So, so we may not have to go. Although he may have other projects planned. Out. Yeah. So he may have something in mind. Do you want to? I'd like to talk to him about it a little more. If not, I think we need to. I think if it's supplies slash improvements, you know, because that's like the salt shed being lined and building the salt shed for residences, that's all improvements to the. Or we could move department. some of that over into building maintenance if right. you found that to be better. Yeah, that's but I mean, he did. He didn't know we had to do that when he made his budget last year. Right. He didn't do his budget he last year. This is his first go around right, with right. budget because he came he just budget. as it was coming right. into budget season. So the board managed his <coughs> budget yeah. last year. But I'm, th I'm thinking that you know sometimes it isn't always evident what you have to replace or repair in the previous yeah. year, or um, you know just. Right. Just what you're not Yeah. 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 I agree with you. I, but if he has. If he has other small projects around there that need to be fixed, I'd like to hear about them. And maybe he mentioned them. I, I, although I wrote notes, I don't. I don't have one under this one. So, okay, equipment. Um, You'll see as a proposed increase. Right. I kept um, the line from last year in there because she had Suzanne had in mind that it was was bumped up to ten for specific items this year, and that it would go down after that. So um, I don't know. Right. He, he wants to buy a line scraper. I know right. that. But I don't know um, what else he has in mind. You might look at his paper proposed budget. Yeah. He's got line striper separate. So. Well, there's That's line paint. striping. That's striping. Yes. Yeah, right, right, right. So you can delete the fifteen hundred for paint if you don't buy the machine, but then you have to budget no, because for he's contracting. No, we still need to do the paint because he's borrowing a machine this year from. Uh, well, so he's summer, asking. Summer's worth, I think. Well, in eighteen, yes, but he's he's oh, proposing to year. buy it yeah. in nineteen and use fifteen hundred dollars worth of paint. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so. Oh. But you have to, well, you should really consider budgeting for a contractor to come in and you, you, you right. might need the paint at least anyway because he's going to probably have to um, paint next year. So for 2018 we appropriated 10000 and that was for a trailer, explosion proof flammable storage cabinet, and a smaller refrigerator that we got for free. Um, plus any other incidentals that happen throughout the year of the equipment. Um, chainsaw, mm -hmm. sharpening, all that sort of thing. So now we want, I'm confused why we need to go up to 1500. It says for paint only. No, I'm on, um, sorry, I'm equipment. on uh, equipment. So he wants 15. I think the striper is included. In yes, it, it is, but it's, um, it's still. I think you can get the striper without having to go to 1500. 
Right, like the striper brings it from 10 to 15. What's in the 10? It's 15,000, not 1,500. Right. You said 1500 Oh, I'm sorry. I meant 15,000. Yeah, because that's why I thought we were talking about the paint. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. 15,000. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> and uh, the 15,000 for right. equipment. I, I, I'm fine with buying the line striper. I'd like to be able to do some of the stuff more in-house and not have to contract mm -hmm. out to other people. I think that there's a long-term cost savings there. Um, and we have someone, two people there that know how to maintain the equipment very well. So that's a good thing. Yeah. But... <laughs> I don't think we need to go to fifteen thousand to get the four thousand dollar line striper yeah. because there's no accounting for what he's going to do with the other eleven thousand. So I, I know things break and we need to repair things as they come along, but we budgeted ten this past year for a number of things, and that was an increase over the twenty seventeen appropriation by over six thousand dollars. So I would say we need to go back. Um, you see him? No, I'm, well, okay. he can get his line striper as long as he can live within, within, I don't know, I don't even know if he needs to go to 10, maybe we go to 7. He used to, there used to be $4,000 for equipment, right. and then we went up to get a lawnmower at one point, and then, uh, I mean, that was a year before the four, so it was higher. What was the 10 for? The end this last say. year it was for a trailer, trailer. an explosion-proof flammable cabinet. Bio, that we need bio to keep. Cabinet, right. yeah. And um, one of those small fridges. So those some big ticket items things. that won't be repeated. Right. I, I agree right. that this, this can be. Um, I think we should confirm with them again that we yeah. didn't miss something. Okay. But if we didn't hear, you know. Yeah. And, and I agree we should bring it down if, if there is no extra that yeah. he is asking. Or in particular. Okay. So all right. We're all in agreement there. Right. So we'll put it on hold until we have another conversation with mm -hmm. uh, vehicle repair and maintenance. <laughs> this is the one where I, I, I do agree with him uh, with the increase. Um, we have um, an aging fleet. Not the oldest we've ever had, but an aging fleet that um, has more and more repairs that we do. Hopefully, we're not at the 2017 level because of the, all the accidents that we had that year. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah. but that doesn't include the, the spring project that we already we just had to do, right? Mm -hmm. That's 6,300. That doesn't include those springs that we had to put on that, right? Oh, correct. Yeah, right. So, That's so we're not that far away. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. So, so I, I think we should go. He said it came in a three. 3500 something Yeah, like it was lower than he expected. Yeah. But he also needed repairs for the... Yeah. So that was a two-part thing. So we're probably going to be close to his last year's, but remember. Mm -hmm. And we can... I, I'm thinking that we can at least make up the... So if he wants a $5,000 increase for vehicle repair, repair and maintenance, I can't speak anymore, sorry. It's been a long day. Um, I think we can make up that $5,000 increase with at least a $5,000 decrease mm -hmm. in the equipment line. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I think we can actually decrease it a little bit more than that. But um, so I'm not as troubled by the uh, by the larger increase there. We can offset it. Any objection to going with his number? I'd rather be safe than sorry. Here. Just keep in mind, you have not heard about capital items right. yet, and yeah. mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. he is hoping for. A new vehicle, which would potentially impact that line if the board chooses to take that recommendation and put it on the ballot, should it pass? Uh -huh. well, what is included in the fleet of so the, the plow trucks? They have three. Three. They have three plow trucks, a skid steer, a Volvo loader, um, and a new utility vehicle. And what's he looking for replacement? The um, medium size dump truck, right? The medium sized plow truck, isn't it? No? I thought it was the international. Yeah, the was biggest one? The international? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's one of the two bigger ones. Yeah. Certainly, something we can talk about. But okay. I would suggest keeping it the line where it is right now. I mean, I mean we're, what he's asking for the 20000 I'm fine with that. So, uh, we. Uh, 
or um, let me gas this next. Let me go down to the next one. The uh, fuel. So he's not asking for an increase of any kind. Uh, the police chief did. The, the police only use gasoline. He uses diesel. And gas. And gas, right? So is it predominantly diesel or is it predominantly gas now? It's no. predominantly diesel. Okay, so that's where it, it could be some savings there. No, it's, diesel okay. is higher, isn't it? It costs more, but you get um, longer range with it, right? No, but I don't think it's gone up nearly as much as gas for me. That's, what, that's the only thing I can think of why it might be. Mm -hmm. You might be okay with less, but I... I but he also has a smaller truck he's now using versus the bigger trucks. Oh, yeah. That was our goal, True. wasn't it? <laughs> it it was, yeah. Reduce the, uh, the gas on. Mm -hmm. Well, we can hold the line there if we want. That's fine. And then we can revisit it if we need to. But mm -hmm. we also have contingencies. So. Okay. Line striping. Did you skip signs? Yep, I did. My favorite topic, actually. And I skipped it. Um, Someday we're actually going to upgrade all the signs. Well, I was just going to say... We have not rated this line in the last couple of years, so I'm very proud of this. So when is this year? I, I don't think Miles is aware of the mandate to upgrade street signs to um, be highly like reflective in all capital letters and larger font and, yeah. and all that by... Um, it took five or six years ago, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's passed. The deadline is passed, and every year we aspire to reach it and don't. Um, so he's... That, that may be something that the board talks to him about with the remainder of his line is maybe getting a few in we did. the end of the year. We did. We've been talking about how much of the signs? It varies. Depends on how many letters in the name? No, the size. Well, yeah, but the size and like a stop sign is what? Um, stop signs are $75, $75 a piece, but he bought stickers to sort of recover some of the existing ones, and those stickers were like 15 or $20. Um, but new street, so street name signs are more expensive. Like nearly a hundred <laughs> when you figure in all of the hardware and like mounting post and all that. Which don't all need to be replaced, but I would figure 85 anyway for a street name sign. And that's because you, it's, you can they're mass produce the others because they're all yeah. the same. Right. Where so is the sticker ones working okay? Is it legally able to do it that way? Like legally it's fine. Yeah. Um, and it's cheaper. I, I don't, I haven't noticed them, which must mean I, I they're not be awesome. horrible looking. Have we been through a winter yet though? Or did you just do it no, we just did it this year. So, so. we'll see if they stay on. <laughs> the sticker so stays the on the cold. Yeah, yeah, so hmm. I haven't noticed anything. And they look out of place, so. I, I guess I haven't either, so. That's I a good mean, thing, I right? think we should Probably continue, well, maybe continue it. Well, I, might, I, would, I would prefer that we not change, we not reduce the line, I guess. Right. I would, I would go with his, his proposed um, 2500 mm -hmm. which is what it was last year. And he did say he was going to be ordering some more for the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, line striping. So that's uh, 1500 that's for paint only, mm -hmm. if machine is purchased. As I said, I, I don't have a problem with them buying the machine if you can live within the, the appropriate amount. I don't want to increase to 15, so. But well, you need the paint anyway, if, even if you borrowed somebody's, you right? Would, yeah. So it's not if the machine mm -hmm. is purchased, it's for paint only, right? Yes, that was my understanding. That's what he told us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we want to, we do want to scratch that if the if, yeah. uh, machine is purchased, because he did yep. tell us he needed it either way. He got it. Yeah. And it's still, I'm trying to remember, when we did line striping before, now this isn't for long stripe line no. striping, I don't remember, this is for crosswalks, crosswalks and 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 stop places. lines and things like that, park stalls. I was trying to do a path and, in, in the transport station so area to, to do direct that, the yes. cars. Yeah. And there's better. that too, yeah. so which is, uh, which is a good thing. Um, so we still will need to do long striping on roads eventually. Yes, and that's something over the last couple of years that we've tried to work with Pike about when they come in to do major projects and they stripe whatever the project is to also stripe 
you know, a couple of other roads in town. Um, one thing we have the machine here anyway. But if you're not, but if you're doing a project that you're not going to strike, then you're not going to have the machine in town. In which mm -hmm. case, you might want a budget to have a contractor come in and do that. Mm -hmm. Right. There aren't too many roads that are not because the state takes care of their own roads right. with the striping. Like the boundary street, boundary we paved that. We had them line it well. Bear has a line. Bear, when, when they paved it, they did that. Um, Clement does. Huh? Clement didn't used to, Clement but the highway not. safety got to do that. Heritage, not. It does not, doesn't it? No. I don't know if I ran it or not. Um, and River doesn't have one either. No. no. Which doesn't mean that it wouldn't be a request once it's fully done. Right, well, but, but, they, but they haven't. They haven't had so. that, yes. So those are those are the only other two roads that have. Um, it's in Front Street, has it? No, no. It's Front Street. Front Street has, does. Has line, but up towards the point. Right, that's but but the, the state handles. So it's really funny. So it's Front Street, right? But the state considers it part of Maine, like an extension of Maine. So they come down, yep. and when they take that left. They repaved there. They redid all the. Yeah, that's a state road. That's the yep. state state road, even though it's. Front Street. We're not arguing with them, but. Mm -hmm. um, but if you were to go right, that's a. Right. But so they, mm -hmm. so they paved, they they paved, but they've also striped it for us. So we don't have to worry about that, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do the the parking stalls, in, um, on that end, so we have to do that and um, you know, stop signs and things like that. So mm -hmm. I stop lines, right? Crosswalks. Crosswalks. Okay. Yeah. So I, I we need to get the paint out of the way, but. Um, there was, a, there was a reason I would bring this all. It's still cheaper uh, than when we used to have to hire Because we hired someone at one time to come in and paint the lines on the You can see the $4,000 budget for that line for the right. year before. In 2017, so we, yeah. we used to pay 4000 We paid 4000 for that. So I'm, I'm very happy that George and uh, Ed are going to be able to do that for us in-house. So. And if, if they keep up on it, like we were trying to do years ago, it will pay for itself very quickly, I would think. So, mm -hmm. so that's my plug for him buying it, I guess. All right, so are we okay with the 1500 for line strike and maintenance? Mm -hmm. yes. All right, tree maintenance. This is a big one. All right, so he would like to increase to what, 7500 um, We used to spend 10 on um, tree maintenance, then we reduced it to 5 He'd like to go back up to 75 I know he has a number of trees. Are there... Um, we still have a number of dead trees that we have all over the place. All we have right. the, the list of them all over town, but I know he's going to take care of the ones in Morton Park, but um, those are the ones he's, he and Ed feel comfortable doing. Right. The one spend. that he's saying that he's going to do here is the ones that are involved with electrical um, yeah. wires. I think it was General John. It yes. might be. Yeah. Yes. So. I mean, you do it now or you do it later when it comes down in the storm. And takes up power. Might as well just be proactive. Yeah. All right, so the folks are comfortable with the with $2,500 increase. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, okay. Sand and gravel. He would like to keep his status quo at 6500 Are any objections to that? Okay. Uh, street sweeping. Um, we have to increase by 500 He did tell us that um, we're going to show him, aren't we? Or over yes. Berwick or South Berwick, rather. And they sold their truck. Yeah. So they're not doing it anymore, so we're going to have to go back to another company, um, which is in... Uh, Cardigan. Uh -huh. Cardigan. Yeah, I don't remember where they are, but they were a little more expensive. We went to show them because they were cheaper. But. And this is also is, well, is part of our um, the street sweeping. And this doesn't catch credits down here. Yeah, but the street sweeping will help with our... Um, MS4, right? Mm -hmm. It's not going eventually down to the river. So that's a good thing. Um, any, any objections? Mm -hmm. No. Cold patch. It's like an increase of $1,000. Um, you could probably go for 10000 and still not have enough money. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but is there any objections to that one? And that one? Did he finish all the projects he said he was, going to, he was doing this year? With the coal patching, like at the end of the roads and stuff, 
And just something on Sligo and then up on Heritage. Heritage is going to be a good one. Now we're going to do Locust and he was going to do something. Um, Locust, do Locust was subcontracted by Pike. Right. So that wasn't an expense on our part. Because I think it was going to be, and then they said they would do it because they were right. doing foundry, right? Or one of the roads. That's what I'm talking about. Foundry. Like they, they were going to repair foundry because they had only done it last year. But yeah, he had one on Stockdale or Bacaris yeah. that he did. There was the one on Locust. Okay. There was one on Panic, maybe? Oh, maybe that that's the one I'm thinking. That so he did. They were done. So they're all done. So to answer your question, I believe, I believe he's done. We would With just those. see potholes right. coming out of that line for the end of the year. Exactly. Right. It'll still right. get spent, just not. But he still miles. has, Miles just brought up, he, he still has a heritage the, uh, way up on the other end, uh, almost where it becomes Moses' car. Oh, he's going to fix that. That step. two inch step down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a shame, but but he did more. do the others. What was the other yeah. one? He, he said he was going to try to do some stuff on Sligo. Sligo. Oh, that's it. Uh, yeah. So on the bear. Road yeah. end of Sligo, yeah. where it's uh, went down again the other day after you mentioned it. It's That's really turning nice. to uh, gravel in mm -hmm. some places, or it will be very shortly. So uh, I don't know what <laughs> I don't want to lament it because we've got so much time lost over. I don't know what we're going to do about Sligo. I went down there once the whole line, and it's it's not as bad as the end he's talking about, but it's bad. Certain pockets it turns back into where he was talking about on the upper end. But just before you get to the farm, it's okay. But then just after, there's a number of potholes mm -hmm. until you get to before. So it's and that is the longest uh, town road in town. Isn't it? It's going to need to be rebuilt. Mm -hmm. so it's going to be a major project. Yeah, yeah. Well, not to scare us, but <laughs> anyway. So God bless him. Whatever you can do to make it work in the short term. Good luck. All right, salt. Um, proposed appropriation of twenty-five thousand. Salt just went up, right? And now, where is his? Where go? Is but he, I think um, he was going to use buying less. Is that what it was? He's going to use the remainder of well, this year. Some now. He yeah. is going to buy some now, but he won't go. He won't spend all of it this year. So we're comfortable with that number. Again. That it's gone up. No, no, but the, the price oh, of salt oh, has oh. gone up, so that's what I'm worried about. But did, 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 did he increase the tonnage? I'm trying to. We no, well, he reserved a thousand. He reserved, he reserved the same amount, okay, so but we don't spend right. nearly, we don't use nearly, we use like 400 to 500 tons. Right. Okay. I want to make sure we think we're, we have enough there. So, folks are comfortable. I'm yep. buying leaving it there. Uh, and then there's the stormwater management. Which I would suggest we move I think we should move it to executive. I agree. Yeah. All right. so I'm fine with keeping it at the five because that was for, um, or part of it was for the contract with, um, I can't think of his name, um, Glenn, Glenn? Oh, it's Glenn, yes. Uh, who um, mapped our outfalls and all that. So. I know, but don't we have to do a lot of things coming up next year? Yeah, we don't reduce time? it because you have to have public hearings that are going to mm -hmm. go, like one of the public hearings has to be, no, the public, the public hearing you're required to have must be noticed in the paper, mm -hmm. um, so that'll affect advertising. Um, you have to have workshops and, you know, we have, I, I would say let's, Look more at what the requirements are for next year before mm -hmm. you lower that because well, we're we're lower. Lower. I was okay. thinking of going. Uh, yeah, but just because we have, but we have to do brochures and we have to maybe do right. mailings and yeah, I, I just want to make sure we have enough. I That's don't all. agree with him, but I would agree to put it in executive so yeah. we have a better okay, visual yeah. on it. Yeah. All right, we're going to uh, yep. All right. All right, so we'll move it over there and we can um, we'll take another look at it again. Uh, Catch basin cleaning. Um, That's another perennial requirement of yeah. stormwater. Yeah. yeah. So I wouldn't change it. Um, folks are okay with that. Mm -hmm. yep. Road maintenance and resurfacing. Um, so F18 has 50. So that number is his number, but you can see it's um, yellow. So it's a calculator from somewhere else. It's his. It's his number. 
um, right. it was a calculator. It does not reflect next year's projects. He picked that number, but he's still waiting to hear from Pike on what it's going to cost right. to finish those two projects next year. Right. Right. Well, let's We're pick. talking about Heritage? And, and Woods Run. And Woods, all about Woods. Oh, That's going to need a top coat. Top, yeah. Okay. So you might talk to him about where that number comes from and what he has in mind. I don't know if he's including something else or if he thinks he's going to use it all in those two. No, he was. He um, suggested going to a different, um, uh, putting a binder down on the rest of uh, heritage, I thought he said, and then uh, letting us sit for another year and then refocus our attention on another road, I think it was. So let's wait till we get back. We get the um, coach back from Pike. Um, we'll see if it's necessary to, to be able to uh, street lighting. Does he have that in here? Um, it it's in the between work. those two budgets. I don't know why it's there. It's always been there. All right. So there's um, there's no proposed change. Are folks okay with that? We just take care of street lighting. Well, the revised 2018 is 35,000. Yeah. Um, yes, I see that. So that's up to the board if you want to bring that to 35. The other thing, just to note, because we're talking about the line, mm -hmm. um, the return on investment is two to two and a half years to go over the LEDs. So that might be worth considering for a winner. So I don't know how it fits in the big picture of your capital priorities. All right. But we you, could, you had, I heard there was a, you got a proposal before? To, um, to we did get order. a proposal for a variety of light things in did, town. But, it wasn't, but, um, it wasn't that. but I say that about the, um, the ROI just based on um, managers that I've talked to and seen on yep. the listserv that are doing it because a lot of people are putting out RFPs for it and that's what they're generally finding. So in two, two and a half years was... So in other words, if you spend something around 80, 70 or 80, yeah. then you will be, you will have paid for that in two to two and a half years. Yeah. That's not on the CFP, though, is it? No. No. It was something we'd want to place on. If but we, we should put it on the CFP. Yeah, we if should. If we wanted to, we'd put it on for starting next year. I had a conversation about that. Okay, so at the very least, should we at least cover the actual cost, I would imagine? You might have to be 35,000. So increase it to 35, what do you think to me? And that's our actual cost. Sanitation, which is transfer station? So the attendance, that line is yellow. I didn't override the calculator. Um, mm -hmm. Because that was calculated in a bunch of different ways, which includes brush chipping. Um, he's proposing right. to bring back the machine for brush chipping rather than paying for attendance to do it. So that would influence this line. Um, I can calculate this line for the board if you want to give me some parameters around how you want it calculated. We've had a lot of staffing changes. We now have um, two people working there for all the shifts, plus one working just Saturdays. I can calculate based on that. I can calculate based on that, plus another one for each of the shifts. Um, they, they, um, they, I don't believe he proposed anything for that line. I certainly didn't work with him on calculating an idea for that line. Yeah, yeah, Did um, he? Yes, 37, 6. So I just didn't override it. Does he say, Did it? what did he say? It says four people are 16 hours a week um, with the senior person there getting um, a rate of $12 and the other people get what, 10 something? No, they get 11. 11. Starting is 11 now. Okay. So do you, do you want to place that?
Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we've used everyone else's okay. uh, proposal um, as a placeholder. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was... No, it's okay, I just didn't because of the calculator. Sorry. What is it? Could you repeat the number? It's uh, 37,600. Thank you. Um, and that's for... And so his four notes are people. four people at 16, 16 hours, hours a week. And then $12 for Plus 12 for the senior. senior. Okay. So it's one at 12 and three at 11, right? Okay. one of those people only working on Saturdays, but... Yes. So it's not... Four. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I think it needs to get recalculated. Mm -hmm. Because if you're going right. to put one at Saturdays, you're not going to have that right. plus a four or the... Yeah. Right. But is it the others not working more during the week to cover the one extra on Saturday? No. Every, oh, everybody's okay. working, you know, you've got two working three days a week and one working one day a week. Okay. So I think he wants to add another. I don't know if the board would find that necessary, but or or not. I don't know. But um, I just I want to know what your plan is, and then we can budget that line based on that plan. Well, if I was it the one that he was proposing was going to be like a floater. If someone was out, they could call him in. It wasn't someone who was going to be working. I wasn't at that meeting, so I didn't right. hear that. I don't. But that may be. Didn't he? Didn't he say just yes. getting someone who? Yep. Who could come in, you, you know, a short notice that. and be able to cover a shift that, right. that was being empty, but not necessarily being automatically on every day schedule. Right. That's right. what he said. He did. So, he did, um, but that would... So it wouldn't increase, it wouldn't wouldn't increase, increase your line. Right. Because if one is out, he'll replace them, and so you've got to account for the whole thing. Right. I think that's what I said. Um, that is my recollection as well, so... So I would suggest calculating for hmm. well, just keep it for what he's got now. It's four people at sixteen hours a day. And that could that could be close to thirty seven cents, so that'd be the right number. And then we can Well, so consider also that recycling is going to require some time outside of open hours for right. people to be moving it around and bailing right. it and transporting it. Mm -hmm. right. So maybe that was part of his 3700 right. as accounting for some additional hours for the second hour. I think it was. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's just leave it where it is for now. Mm -hmm. We can come back when we do the rest of the salaries. Payroll tax also we'll stable for now. Yeah. Health and safety. He was suggesting keeping it at 800. Any objections? Mm -hmm. Uniform cleanings. This is where um, so the other half. we see the other half. So mm -hmm. the revised budget for this year was 3,000. It goes down to 2,000. Uh, and transportation and the other 1,000 goes over to the highway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any objections? Mm -hmm. right. Supplies. The request of 200, which is the same. Any objections? Mm -hmm. France, uh, conference and dues. Um, he's so taking that out for some reason. This is why, a new line. Oh, it's okay. Um, um, so it one. was it was in executive. They were part of the executive budgeted conferences and dues. Um, it's up to you whether you put it here or you want to just budget for them in executive. Um, police and fire have their own in their own lines. Right. So I think they should. I think every department should. I mean, executive should just be the executive. Mm -hmm. This doesn't be executive. Mm -hmm. No objection here. So that will cover, though, that's Ed's uh, course over the N, um, NRAA and, um, and the state. And everybody else's annual training. Yes. Um, licensure. Yep. Okie dokie. Everyone's okay with 360? Telephone. Um, so hmm. um, he would like to get rid of this line. Really? It's, it's in there. But oh, for transfer, right. For the transfer station. Well, has he done his test yet, do we know? No, he was going to check yeah. and see if... So, all right, let's hold off. Just know that. I mean, I'm fine with doing it if we can. Yep. A little bit helps, but hold until... So, um, those numbers that are in there for um, tipping, 
yeah. and trucking. We worked on trucking together. Um, it's really hard to know how the change in recycling is going to affect how much more people are going to throw away. Um, as we get rid of single stream, more items are going to end up in the trash just because we're not going to be recycling all of the plastics that they that we were. Mm -hmm. So that will increase volume, which will increase trucking. Um, tipping, um, there's a note there that last year it went up a ton, but it's not going up again this year. So it's really kind of a crapshoot, you know, um, the recycling doesn't have a lot of weight, so I don't know how much it's going to affect um, that. No, notice with the um, quarter three expenditures, though, they look kind of low and safe, but they don't include everything because recall that we haven't worked everything out with Shipyard mm -hmm. yet with that debacle. Right. So right. that's an underinflated, underreported number. So, I mean, you, you, okay, so I understand that tipping. What's the second line again? So um, well, we need to, this is the other thing, we need to. Um, change the name of the Lamprey Regional Truck Co-op hauling. It's supposed to say, it's the HA there is supposed to say. Hauling. Okay, that is hauling now. Okay. Um, because it's not, the, the trucking co-op truck dissolved, right. so it's it's just MSW truck, it, MSW and demo hauling. Okay. MSW so, and what? MSW and demo. sure if we're going to come up with a better number. All I can say is um, I think probably more than last year where we've already spent 12 this year and we right. did for hauling and we haven't done all of the, um, that doesn't include all of um, shipyard plus third quarter. It, we're going to be overspent easily for that line this right. year. So I would go back to 17's expense number even mm -hmm. and look at that and then it might even be more than that because you're throwing away some of your single stream. Mm -hmm. right. So there's some items that just won't be recyclable anymore, They're collected as Correct. recycling and people will know that. Not to put them yes, in. yes, yes and we need to work on that well, PR once we... We'll, we'll try to educate them. Yes, we're going to have signs and they, they will work on signs and the board and I, you know, Ed and George and I will help write something for the board to send out to people as well. Mm -hmm. Once it's figured out, it's not entirely figured yeah. out. The metals and glass, it's clear what that's going to be. There are options for how to recycle paper and plastics that are a little more up in the air still. All right, so for this line, 18 is a safe number. Right now. Okay. Yeah. Twenty it is for now. All right. That's fine. I mean, it's a placeholder. So, all right. Back to the days of expensive, more expensive garbage. All right. And then oh, we already talked with a line about it. I don't. They haven't scheduled that meeting yet, right? Which meeting is that? The um, the lamprey to set the. Um, no. Okay. No. No, you didn't. Being invited to it. So. Right. Okay, okay, so trucking recycling. So that's another unknown. So glass we're going to haul ourselves. Right. Um, scrap metal we can haul ourselves, which will increase our income. That's not an expense. It's just right. a very small income. Um, and more things are going to go to scrap metal, aluminum and Ten will go to scrap metal right now, which we can haul ourselves. Mm -hmm. So that'll save a lot, um, but we're still, it's going to be glass and paper um, and appliances glass and tires. And glass we're hauling, right? Sorry, not glass. Um, plastics, paper, cardboard, and appliances. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tires. Appliances, we're not sending over to 
We're going to mail this. Well, we, those. we will. Sorry. So, so, so we need another line then because that was. You needed the expense of removing the. The freon. Uh, we need freon. the freon somewhere. Um, but then we'll keep the. Yeah. Right, because they're going to scrap, but. So that was all handled in the bulky items before. So disposal of metal tires, etc. It would go under that, but right. we're not, you know, that's where I would put the free on expense, but right. we should probably rename that line once sure. we figure out. Okay, so. What goes in it? How we're doing with this. Uh, so potentially, we, we, we may actually be okay with. Um, um, Yes, I think you might be okay because you're hauling a lot of it yourself. I, right. I think so you, you know, we, we can, I think you can probably leave it at least for now. Yeah, okay. You want to okay with that? Mm -hmm. All right, so equipment, yay. Um, George said that he was um, meeting with Todd soon at Atlantic to get a new quote for the baler for the end of the year because yeah. I don't know where we didn't get it and install it in September. There were four payments to be had this year. We didn't pay anything in September, so I don't know if we're spending the same amount this year over three months instead of four, right. um, and how that affects next year. So mm -hmm. he's getting a new quote. Okay, so we'll hold off on that one then. Yeah. Okay. But then we have to do a... But you might think about what else, though, the like the actual yeah. purchase of it, right? Mm -hmm. Well, yes, yeah. there's that, but also, what else does that line represent that you want to budget for and think about, besides the baler? You've got a cardboard baler, you've yeah. got two MSW compactors, mm -hmm. you've got um, your cans. What do you we'll replace, what, the MSW cans? Yes, new with the compact. We got one new one with the compactor. Mm -hmm. um, I think we, I believe we have three, and I think one of them is in not so awesome shape. But I would talk to George about the state of the cans. I know we have a lot of them. I don't know if it's worth scrapping ones that are in, but you know, not so awesome shape, or because he's going to need more storage for recycling. That's one of the things about recycling is that it's going to get bailed and then we need to store it until we can have enough to make a load to get rid of. So he's going to store them in the Quonset house? No. Well, the Quonset hut isn't as big as it appears to be. And he's, you know, they're going to talk to the board about that. Um, they, he would like another, Ed would like another Quonset hut. Um, eventually for storage off to the right where the current one is on the left. Um, in the meantime, he has an idea for some kind of container to keep it in um, in the interim. The thing about, you know, metal doesn't matter as much, but cardboard and tires, some things have to stay covered. Mm -hmm. Right. Paper. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm How many tires are we getting down there? Um, typically we dispose of them once a year. You get maybe a couple hundred. Metal tires and other things. Right, 60, you got 38. I think that's probably I think it'll be okay. Yeah. All right. Lamp roof closure. That's it is, set. It is, that's it is set just as it is, or is it set? So I hope we're okay with that one. Rush shipping. Could you check that against his proposal? Because he had said to me verbally that he wanted to bring that back as a service. Okay. Yeah, he has that as 3,500. Mm -hmm. 
Because I know he has a new door, I understand that. But. Yes, he had, the attendance, it was going under the attendance. Yeah. Before. So, so last year, as he stated, he was having attendance to it. They weren't that happy about doing it. Um, there's a new crew, right? Yeah. Th there's a new crew, but I think it's taking a lot more time, and it's about whether or not they want to do it. So I, I don't remember why he's wanting. I don't remember specifically why, but I know it's a personnel issue. So you might talk to him about the switch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks for your thoughts. Well, let's talk to him and see. Yeah. I know that he, I know he talked about it, but then it was just something that they didn't do often enough because they didn't have the staffing to do it. So then it's a bigger it project right. when they were doing it. Right. Because you, you can't do it when it's open. It's control it, right. So they can't necessarily, you need two of them, yeah. and they can't do it when it's open. Right. And I think he was just having issues getting two of them who wanted to work outside of, Out of their work hours. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's, let's plug it back in here for now. Now we can, about 3,500, that was requested. Um, the, the next line, hazardous waste day, I would suggest bumping it to 1600 yeah. um, I was just going to say that. Because yeah. we just got the bill for that, and it's going yes. over the 15. All right, well, let's get one wheel cover cost. Yeah, it's okay. 1577 this year. Okay. All righty. We don't have... Um, uh, FEMA, did Bob give us that? Yeah, I was going to... So we can do that one. Suggested under Homeland Security, have that be twenty one hundred. Uh -huh, level. Uh, level, yes, sir. Level funded, and then FEMA reimbursements also keep at twenty level fund that as well. Any objections to that? Or? We'll keep those the same then. Uh, our animal control. Did we not hear from the other ones yet? No. I'll follow up with them again. Please. Mark was going to do it too, but if you both do it, maybe one of you will hear something. Well, they reached out to me after, you know, they said, Mark said, call you. So he called, and I think it's just a process because they have to get with their board, and their whole board has to agree on what they're going to do. It's yeah. different than what it used to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, they need to know. They want to keep them. Our animal control. Probably suggesting 3193 for salary. We have it in that's the three percent mm -hmm. payroll is the same. So we'll hold those. Those are also another um, salary lines that we can Is this someone that, that works a set number of hours or is this no. on call? On call. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if we want to talk about shelter fee either. Shelter fee is something that was um, so we pay $500 just to have a shelter on call for when we pick up a dog or whatnot. Right. It's overexpended um, for an amount that I can move to reimbursable expenses because it is reimbursable whether or not we see it this year. We so never see it though, but okay. Bob is saying he'd like to go away from canine chaos. Yeah. We have to go back to Kachiko. Oh, that's right. So that's what he's saying it was going to be. There were some issues before with the management of Kachiko, but that's been resolved. Yeah, so it was going to be less, wasn't yeah, it? In the a whole lot picture of thing, yes. Yeah, okay. That's good. Because there isn't a fee. There isn't like a, 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 a registration fee or a no retainer fee, right? Yeah, because we have that annual. Right. And you pay based on um, the actual animals that go over there. Versus, which you pay now, too. You also pay the on retainer. Of, yes. Uh, the fee of five months. So, is he proposing that we get rid of that or just make that its own reimbursable line? He is suggesting keeping it at 500. Uh, mileage, what does he have here? He's got $50. Level. Okay, supplies of 450, level funded. License, uh, dog tags at 200. Nope, he wants to, yes, 200, looking at the wrong line. And then um, license fees to the state at 1300. 
and he's suggesting the keeping of the same. Mm -hmm. Any objections to any of that in the nope. animal control lines? All right, we'll solve that. Uh, all right, so, what we have left that we need to deal with, we need to deal with um, fire, which we're going to be hearing from at our next regular scheduled meeting. Cemetery, well, cemetery we can probably handle that. But didn't Mark, he hasn't gotten Um, yeah, he gave you a full budget. I just we just have one line in the budget for him. The detail is what's not. um he asked for eighteen thousand seven fifty, which is up seven hundred forty nine dollars, four point two percent. Alright. It's in the beginning yeah. Um, yeah. after the government buildings. After the government buildings. Right oh, at the end. I got you. Thank you. So it's an increase of seven hundred and forty million dollars, which Mark and and, and uh, other and other two trustees have held the line uh, for several years. Uh, we'll, we'll see no objection. But let me just find it. I can't find the detailed report that you sent us. Um, you no, I didn't, I didn't bring the individual sheets. Oh, oh, and the um, yeah, town clerk. Town clerk is coming in too, right? To yes, to be able to talk about um, her lines. Yes, and you might consider inviting the tax collector to speak with you if you're going to have any questions about the. Um, the tax mailing program that was done this year. Okay, yes. So can you see if she can come in the same night? Okay. All right, how many are we doing that night? Fire, um, we only have three remaining. Fire, town clerk, and tax clerk. No. Right. But you, you asked Bob oh, to come back. And you asked Bob to come back. So right. Yeah. Tell you. Yeah. Well. I mean, Rex not going to be home. We only have a single line. We don't have in our budget because they're a separate board of trustees. I can I can print it for Monday night if you. I, I mean I don't have any objection to them going up seven hundred fifty dollars. No, neither. I mean, anyone else who wants to waste time on? Yeah. Fine. Cemetery is taken care of. Okay, so we need uh, finish up the fire. Rec, do we ask Rec to come in on? Um, I'm presenting Rec and my two uh, co-chairs are coming. They are coming. Okay. Yeah. And then um, the clerk and the and the um, tax collector, I can't imagine will take a little long. No, I don't. So, and but Marks is is from what I saw is all pretty straightforward, yeah. with the exception of maybe a couple places we have to have a conversation. But everything else is the same. So. Well, so I want to bring to your attention about the fire department that he level funded um, salaries for both. Hit the, the chief line and the on-call firefighters. Right. He level funded that. The calculator in the worksheet you're looking at calculates that automatically as the ATB because it was the board's desire previously to keep increasing it with whatever the ATB was that you decided right. for everybody else. So I just wanted to point that out, that there's sure. a difference there. But that wasn't his suggestion. So. No, I want it, his is level. Right, okay. Um, so the, the big ones, really, that evening will be um, what we'd have more of an in-depth conversation about would probably be wrecked, because mm -hmm. I haven't seen it yet. Mm -hmm. um, but the others, uh, I don't think we'll And then the follow-up questions we have with Bob, but I think those will be pretty quick, too, actually. So when is it that the Board of Selectmen are going to be looking at their lines in the budget and making proposals? Assistance we haven't talked about, correct? We have not talked about that. Yet. Other like 
patriotic, historical, all of those um, lines. Um, all the insurance, I will let you know when it comes in. In a couple of weeks, we'll get all yep. the insurance okay. numbers for um, for peak, for health as well as um, like regional association and the property liability insurance and all of those mm -hmm. things. Um, I don't know if you all saw my email about health insurance. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, there are changes in plans for next year. Yeah, so those have to be modified. Um, also, capital, and when are we going to talk about CIP? Yeah, I, I have not finished. That was my other thing. My other question was um, when will you be. Um, I have it. I just, you I just have, need you to have talk it? about it. Yeah. Okay. I have to just modify the report. I have it on paper. Okay. So we can do that as part of our um, of our as our of our meeting on Saturday if you want. Okay. And we can finish the um, we also need to talk about building inspector. We already talked about planning. Um, CIP and one other thing for um, for Saturday. Um, Do we make recommendations yet as to um, we talked with executive office and in government buildings, but have we did we have um, if there are any outstanding questions they would go with that again. So Saturday may not take as long as uh, whatever is running schedule. So, so you're talking be about hours. the, the um, town administrator versus town manager, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll talk about that on Saturday too. Okay. So that will keep us busy, but it probably won't take all three hours. Right. It's just, no, just okay, get started so. going. Yep. yep. But if you're, if you're prepared to talk about CIP on Saturday, Saturday that will be helpful. Yep. That's another big, um, big piece. So. Anything else we want to talk about tonight? Good. Uh, thank you for your, uh, your efforts. We will adjourn at 746.